a look at this. Okay, so this is just wandering around near Bancroft. Um, I'm starting to find that really uh, the places I look for are much better than the places you might find from, say, the Chamber of Commerce. So, I mean, here it is, just a complete nice exposure of minerals. Obviously, there's more up underneath the, the dirt here, so I'm going to return tomorrow. I don't have my rock stuff with me to actually remove this properly, but I'll be coming back tomorrow to uh, see if we can remove it uh, in mass, probably from uh, the side here. See if we can just lever the whole top off. Looks like someone's already done a bit of nasty damage there. Uh, look at this. He used a chisel and just whacked off the tops of the crystals. Uh, very bad style to do a thing like that. Um, it just wrecks it for other people who want to do a proper job. So, there we go. Um, in the side of a road cutting. Oops, did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. Oh, look what's up inside here. This is a, what we call a vug. Uh, you may not be able to, maybe you can just see it there. A rim of crystals, and it looks like it's loose, so I'm going to pull it out. Here's the first thing I just pulled out um, with the hands in the flip flops. Uh, really wasn't prepared for this, but uh, it's coming apart in there. So here's a nice hint uh, you got mica, nice big books of mica here. Um, that's a real good uh, suggestion of this uh, likely presence of vugs. You've got uh, the end of the chamber starting to break down into calcite. You can see this. You basically scrape it with your car key so you know it's calcite, not uh, other things like quartz or whatever. And I'm finding some free, uh, free form crystals there, double terminations. Um, actually, those aren't a good example of it, but uh, I'm scooping out the bottom of the vug now and bringing out these doubly terminated crystals. Would you look at that? Look at the size of it. Big chunk of plate of crystal. Uh, there's more to come. Um, I'm working on the roof now, pulling out the Wow, what do we have there? Looks like some appetite. Can't point at it because I'm holding this thing. Amphiboles again. Very interesting. You ever wonder what the inside of the vug looks like? That's it there. You can just see a little rim in the upper right hand corner. The crystal's under that. And off towards the back, I can see some real large ones. You can't see it on film here. This is the end result of digging in the vug. Upper left hand corner, right. That's the vug I was in. I think it can be intersected from underneath and also from on top there. Um, you intersect from the top, it goes way deeper in and there's way more crystals down around that level right there with my finger. So by the time you see this, I will have done my business here already. But where all the crystals are on the side there, I've already camouflaged it up for my return visit tomorrow morning, just in case. So this is me and, uh, and this is what I found. And the Vug. This is the contents of the Vug. All scattered inside my car. There's some quite larger crystals. Um, all sorts of free-floating crystals, which are in many cases doubly terminated. Um, so anyway, I can see there's a lot more. Oh, there's a nice... I like those ones. They're quite big too. So anyway, um, you got to clean them up, see exactly what's here. And uh, for now, me, my water, well earned. Uh, it's warm. Wow, look at this. This is more than a bug. They've actually they've dug this seam into an actual cave. So, looking down the far end, I think I'm going to have a quick look. I see crystals in the roof. Looks like this one's been played out. There's nothing left in there. Very little. Nothing I'm going to actually dig in myself. Could get a little unstable. I already had some rocks fall on my hands in the other vug. So this was a, a really nice conclusion to my week-long trip to Bancroft to look after my sister's dogs. Um, again, behind me, there's the, there's the road cut. Here's my light. It doesn't hurt to have a little flashlight with you when you're breaking into a vug so you can see what you're doing. I actually had no tools. I'd use a stick to, to actually knock the scabs of crystals off the wall. Um, so anyway, uh, something to be said for just kind of venturing out and poking around and uh, not necessarily taking the advice of the guidebooks and what have you. Sorry to keep gloating, but here's me and my two hours of uh, crystal digging. Uh, this is what I got. Here's me in my car. I'm on my way home, and I'm real happy with what I found. So, look at that. Look at them all. Look at them. Crystals, crystals, crystals. More crystals than you'll find in a lifetime, unless you break into a vog like I did. And of course, excuse the state of my car with the endless Tim Hortons cups and 
things like that. Uh, just didn't realize what a mess I was looking like uh, while I was standing beside the road there, hacking into the uh, into the vein. Uh, I'm sure the cars must have thought there's some kind of a wild man just come out of the bush. Um, anyway, back at my sister's place after the mineral collecting expedition. Pretty tired. Um, you can hear, maybe you can hear the, the two dogs. I had to come back. I'm going to have to finish collecting minerals tomorrow at this particular spot. Here they are. Um, we've got the pug called Daisy. And there's the master. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, big excitement. Sit. Hey. This is what they were waiting for. Throwing of the Kong. Okay, you ready? Ready? Go get it! Crazy dog. There we are. Good dog. Drop it. Drop it. Good. Daisy's on her leash because she keeps running off to get the chickens next door. What? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? This is me in my garden in Guelph. Um, I got back this afternoon from, from Bancroft. It's my dog Chester. So um, early this morning I went out there with a crowbar out to the road cutting. And uh, this amongst other things is what I uh, broke loose from the road cutting. You can see some of the crystals, the flat termination on the end of that, um, like a prismatic crystal. Um, the fact that the termination is on an incline will suggest something to you about the crystal system. Um, you've got various blocky kinds of crystal. You know, I believe there's a fair bit of um, feldspar that I've got out and uh, amphiboles, things like that. So, um, anyway, I used the crowbar, broke this loose, one heck of a job to carry it down from the crystal face, considering that it was actually about this big in size, and I had to cleave off the, uh, the, the less valuable parts because somebody had taken a chisel and smashed them up. So, there's a lot still to be found in Bancroft. Good, cut it. <laughs>